Avestan, Wikipedia article audio. Avestan slash VSTN slash, formerly also known as Zend, is one of the Eastern Iranian languages within the Indo-European language family known only from its use as the language of Zoroastrian scripture, i.e. the Avesta, from which it derives its name. Its area of composition comprised ancient Arashosia, Arya, Bactria, and Margayana, corresponding to the entirety of present-day Afghanistan, and parts of Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. The Yaz culture of Bactria Marjana has been regarded as a likely archaeological reflection of the early Eastern Iranian culture described in the Avesta. Avestan's status as a sacred language has ensured its continuing use for new compositions long after the language had ceased to be a living language. It is closely related to Vedic Sanskrit, the oldest preserved Indo-Aryan language. Genealogy Forms and Stages of Development Avestan, which is associated with northeastern Iran, and Old Persian, which belongs to the southwest, together constitute what is called Old Iranian. The Old Iranian language group is a branch of the Indo-Iranian language group. Iranian languages are traditionally classified as Eastern or Western, and within this framework of Eston is classified as Eastern. But this distinction is of limited meaning for a Vestan, as the linguistic developments that later distinguish Eastern from Western Iranian had not yet occurred. Avestan does not display some typical Western Iranian innovations already visible in Old Persian, and so in this sense, Eastern only means non-Western. That is not to say that Avestan does not display any characteristic innovations of its own e.g., the sibilant pronunciation of the consonant in AA corresponding to original slash rt slash that is preserved in the old persian form as well as sanskrit old avestan is closely related to old persian and agrees largely in nature to vedic sanskrit it is believed that it might be close to an ancestor dialect of pashto as well the avestan language is attested in roughly two forms known as Old Avestan and Younger Avestan. Younger Avestan did not evolve from Old Avestan, the two differ not only in time, but are also different dialects. Every Avestan text, regardless of whether originally composed in Old or Younger Avestan, underwent several transformations. Karl Hoffman traced the following stages for Avestan as found in the extant texts. In roughly chronological order, many phonetic features cannot be ascribed with certainty to a particular stage since there may be more than one possibility. Every phonetic form that can be ascribed to the Sasanian archetype on the basis of critical assessment of the manuscript evidence must have gone through the stages mentioned above so that Old Avestan and Young Avestan really mean no more than Old Avestan and Young Avestan of the Sasanian period. The script used for writing Avestan developed during the 3rd or 4th century AD. By then the language had been extinct for many centuries and remained in use only as a liturgical language of the Avesta canon. As is still the case today, the liturgies were memorized by the priesthood and recited by rote. Alphabet The script devised to render Avestan was natively known as Dindabiraya religion writing. It has 53 distinct characters and is written right to left. Among the 53 characters are about 30 letters that are through the addition of various loops and flourishes variations of the 13 graphemes of the cursive Pallavi script that is known from the post-Sasanian texts of Zoroastrian tradition. These symbols, like those of all the Pallavi scripts, are in turn based on Aramaic script symbols. Avestan also incorporates several letters from other writing systems most notably the vowels, 
which are mostly derived from Greek minuscules. A few letters were free inventions, as were also the symbols used for punctuation. Also, the Avestan alphabet has one letter that has no corresponding sound in the Avestan language, the character for slash l slash was added to write Pazen texts. Avestan script is alphabetic and the large number of letters suggests that its design was due to the need to render the orally recited texts with high phonetic precision. The correct enunciation of the liturgies was considered necessary for the prayers to be effective. Phonology The Zoroastrians of India, who represent one of the largest surviving Zoroastrian communities worldwide, also transcribe Avestan in Brahmi-based scripts. This is a relatively recent development first seen in the ca 12th century texts of Naryosang Dhaval and other Parsi Sanskritist theologians of that era, and which are roughly contemporary with the oldest surviving manuscripts in Avestan script. Today, Avestan is most commonly typeset in Gujarati script. Some Avestan letters with no corresponding symbol are synthesized with additional diacritical marks, for example, the slash Z slash in Zaratra is written with J with a dot below. Avestan has retained voiced sibilants, and has fricative rather than aspirate series. There are various conventions for transliteration of DN Dabira, the one adopted for this article being Vowels Consonants Consonants Vowels The glides Y and W are often transcribed as TU and UU, imitating D and Dabira orthography. The letter transcribed T indicates an allophone of slash T slash with no audible release at the end of a word and before certain obstruents. Grammar According to Beeks, and are allophones of slash theta slash and slash x slash respectively. The following phrases were phonetically transcribed from Avestan. Nouns Note, U is singular unless marked with a for plural. Verbs Sample text The natural language of the composers of the Gathas the Yasnahaptang Haiti, the four sacred prayers, changes precipitated by slow chanting, changes to old Avestan due to transmission by native speakers of younger Avestan, the natural language of the scribes who wrote grammatically correct younger Avestan texts, deliberate changes introduced through standardization, changes introduced by transfer to regions where Avestan was not spoken, adaptions slash translations of portions of texts from other regions. Composition of ungrammatical late Avestan texts, phonetic notation of the Avestan texts in the Sasanian archetype, post-Sasanian deterioration of the written transmission due to incorrect pronunciation, errors and corruptions introduced during copying. Example phrases Notes Sources